Our Global Finance Trends Survey has certainly provided insight on how tough and challenging the year 2020 has been on finance functions, CFOs, and finance directors in general. From a board perspective, I think one of the big takeaways is that finance organizations with advanced digital operating capabilities enabling a strong remote working model have proven to be more likely to sustain their operations in the control environment during the pandemic itself and therefore are best positioned to function and continue their operations during the next pandemic or a disruption of similar magnitude. I think it's sobering that the pandemic has affected so many people in so many different ways and it raises a lot of questions about, okay, how do we sustain the finance function's resiliency going forward. So, for example, how effective and efficient was the financial reporting process when our employees work remotely? And what can we learn about our people and processes? What did we learn? And how are we improving our resiliency going forward? That's a question every audit committee should be discussing with CFOs. And certainly, another aspect of our finance trend survey that would be instructors relate to cybersecurity and the importance of the CFO and the finance function being engaged with cybersecurity programs on a continuing basis so that finance has a role to play in monitoring and strengthening how data security and privacy spending is benchmarked, how these investments are allocated, how cyber risk are quantified in dollar amounts, and how these risks are expressed in business terms. So the finance team and the cyber security team really should be engaged on these matters as finance really does have an important role to play. And that should be of interest to directors. Now, another point that comes out of our survey is how pervasive the CFO's reach is because the network of internal customers whose ranks continue to swell, they are expecting more and more dynamic financial analysis and insights. You know, the quality of information used for decision making within the organization ultimately spills over to the quality of information provided to the board. And so directors should be focused on that and how the CFO is measuring up to the opportunity to improve information for decision making. And one other point that I think that our survey indicated is the importance of a next generation finance capability. Finance groups who successfully navigate the pandemic have demonstrated two distinguishing capabilities. One is digital leadership, and the other is a flexible finance labor model. By flexible finance labor model, what I'm talking about is how finance is managing an increasingly diverse portfolio of full-time employees, contract and temporary workers, expert external consultants, managed services providers, and outsourcing partners. While roughly one-third of finance organizations experienced staff reduction during the pandemic, many CFOs are in fact increasing resources dedicated to addressing the changing demands of internal customers, data analytics enhancements, and cloud-based finance applications. And then you have the commitment to build a next-generation finance capability. As the organization itself transforms digitally, so must finance. In fact, finance can be a significant catalyst in this respect. And so directors should be inquisitive as to how finance is contributing to the overall digital transformation of the organization in collaboration with other disciplines across the company. And I think this is an opportunity for directors as they focus on the next generation capability of finances, commitment and support of the company's cybersecurity programs, finances resiliency in dealing with 
shocks in the future, and then Finance's focus on internal customers, this represents a significant and important conversation for directors to have with finance leaders.